Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2 episode 3 of Stranger Things. This time the title of the episode is chapter 3, The Polywalk. I think that's how you pronounce it, The Polywalk. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we're here, we're back, we're ready for a new episode of Stranger Things. And you might say, hey, didn't you do a reaction video for Stranger Things yesterday? I did, but... This week, as every single other week in the man, in the month of June, has just been a series of unfortunate events, I guess. That's the best way I can put it. With the doctor's appointment, things here, things there. Then I got food poisoning. I was also, like, sick uh, for a few days as well with my throat. Um, and this week, you know, food poisoning. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, the best way to close up the month, you know. So I, you know, I'm not in the mood for... I feel like I will, like if I watch Dawson's Creek or any other show, I'm, I don't feel like I will be in the mood. I don't feel in the mood for, for that. So... Yesterday I watched Stranger Things because I, I was like in the mood for Stranger Things. Um, and today I said, you know what? I'm just going to go with what whatever I feel like. And today I feel like I need to watch Stranger Things again. And I might do like a little bit of a binge of Stranger Things. Just so we can get, uh, get caught up with season 2 already and start from where I actually don't know anything. You know? So, which is season 3 and season 4. Uh, so the faster we do this, the faster we're gonna, you know, um, the faster we will do this, the faster we'll get to season three. And that's, that's the point of this whole rewatch. So I'm going to do episode three right now, probably episode four as well. Maybe episode five as well. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys support, you know, I know that maybe you guys are expecting Dawson's Creek or... Wizards of Waverly Place or what other show that is it that I do? I don't know. Um, I know. I'm sorry, but I, I just I'm not in the mood right now. I feel uh, like I'm in the mood for Stranger Things. So here's a Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, anyways, give it a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts if it, if you're watching on Patreon. Continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for Stranger Things. And that's about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching and let's just begin with season two, episode three of Stranger Things. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, he found a pet, right? Well, not a pet, but an alien. No, I don't know what it is. Dusty! Dusty, how was it? Oh yeah, it was it was uh, tubular. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Did something happen? No. What? No. Are you constipated again? Oh, no. Mom. Okay, oh, <laughs> you're acting weird. I am not acting weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> awesome. Right? Yeah. I I, I rigged a trap with uh, a motor to make it look like I caught a ghost, just like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yertle. Oh, okay. Temporary Good. eviction, buddy. I'm glad that you're taking it out. Is that a frog? What are you, little guy? What were you doing in my trash? You hungry? Are those one of the things... Are those... Is that thing one of the things that come out of Will when he pukes? I don't think so. You like nougat too, huh? I'm glad he took the turtle out. You're pretty cute, you know that? I'm glad I found you. <laughs> D'Artagnan. I'm gonna call you D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, okay. He has a stomach ache like me. That's literally me in the bathroom. Oh! Maybe he shouldn't have 
fed him. All right. I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, enjoy this triple decker ego extravaganza on my own. What did you just say? <laughs> visited him again last night oh he knows about it he says he needs me you want me to go check on him I know that you miss him right but it's too dangerous you're the last thing he needs right now when I don't know. On day 500? I don't know. On day 600? I don't know. Day 700? On day 800? No. I need to I see said, your I... face! Oh. Shit. oh, shit. Shit! Friends, don't lie! Uh, that's what happened when you have Jesus. a telekinetic have kid. Him? We're looking long. But the thing is that... You know what he should do? He should move. With her. To a place where she can be... A girl her own age. Imagine, like... Didn't we all go nuts during the pandemic? Now imagine the pandemic is just happening to her. These books are my paddles. Five at a time. Are you shitting me? Excuse what? me? What? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Mr. Anderson! I need my paddle! <laughs> I will share with you the I need my paddle. I was a little younger than you, standing in line for the Ferris wheel at the Rowan County Fair. Mm -hmm. and suddenly, I feel this fat white glove tap me on the shoulder. I spin around, and there he is, Mr. Baldo. <laughs> hey, kiddo, would you like a balloon? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. It's funny. It wasn't funny back then, I can tell you that. I couldn't get him out of my head. I made my mom stay in the room with me until I could fall asleep every night. Really? That's sweet. Really? You know, like he's like trying months. to relate. And then one day, the nightmare suddenly stopped. I just looked at Mr. Baldo and his stupid face, and I said, Go away! Go away! Just like that, he was gone. Facing your fears. Never saw him again. Easy That's peasy, very right? sweet. I mean, sounds easy peasy, but... Easy peasy. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> but it's really sweet that he's, you know, telling him a story that he can relate to. And, you know, drawing from his own experience. And that's very sweet. And not a lot of people will do that for, for Will because everybody... You know, he's a zombie boy or some, something like that. Zombie boy. Well, see, some other kid drowned at the quarry. He thought it was Will because his body was super decomposed. What? Okay, that's not funny. It's not a joke, right? It's public knowledge. You can ask anybody except Will because he is really sensitive about it. All right? Okay. Yeah, what will you ask him, though? At the time, this was known as the American Crowbar case, although it wasn't a crowbar. I'm so sorry, Mr. Clark. Really, I'm so sorry. Please continue with the class. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, continue, please. Please. <laughs> although it wasn't That's a crowbar, it. it was a rod, as I said. We have to meet the American all rod of us case at lunch. AV Club. AV Club lunch. Dustin. Yes, my lord. Would you please <laughs> join the class? Please. Yes. Why does he gotta kick the door? Chi! Hey, <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? It's a work in progress, you know. It's, uh, it takes a little imagination, but, uh, you know, once we fix it up, it's gonna be nice. Real nice. I mean, imagination and. Your new home. And a lot of box spray. There's gonna be a couple ground rules. 
Rule number one, always keep the curtains drawn. Rule number two. We'll break your rules. Only open the door if you hear my secret knock. And rule number three. You never get out. Don't ever go out alone, especially not in the daylight. Not stupid. <laughs> Come on, you have her isolated. Where, where are you expecting? I heard you used to run this school. That's true. Gee, Steve, he's going home. Hey. Then you turn bitch. Hey, maybe you should just shut up and play the game. I'm pretty sure that kid is 35. I was drunk, Steve. I don't remember any of that. So that makes everything that you said, it's what, it's just bullshit too? Yes. Well, then tell me. Tell you what? You love me. Really? Harrington! Dude, we need you, man. That douchebag's killing us. Let's go! All right. Come on! Come on, if you don't feel bullshit. that way. OK. He's pissed. So if he's not a polywog or a reptile. Then I've discovered a new species. But it sounds like, right? And it looks like. We gotta show See, that's something. the thing. That's the thing. Uh, is Will <laughs> like the the mom or something? What the hell's happening? Clark, no. What if he steals my discovery? He's not gonna steal your discovery. I mean. You so much. Not just you. Everything that comes with you. Your family, your boys. I hope it's not That's wishful sweet. thinking, but I kind of feel like I'm breaking through with it. I struggled a lot like Will when I was a kid. With bullies. It's the ones like us that don't punch back that people really take advantage of. You know, they rub your nose in it just a little bit more. I don't know why they do that. Is it miserable? Maybe it makes him feel powerful. Yeah. But hey, look at me now. I get to date Joyce Byers. Huh? <laughs> Kidding me? I get to date Joyce. <laughs> See, it all works out in the end, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Bobby Sweet, right? It's contained. What if there's a leak? A leak? <laughs> I don't know, man. You're the scientist. Exactly. And I'm telling you, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, when Convinced a scientist you. tells you there's nothing yeah. to worry you, you and there's nothing to be worried, that's when you need to be worried. Your egghead friends go out there to every area on this map and you run your tests or whatever the hell it is you do and you see if anything comes up. You need to cut yourself some slack, okay? Well, people say stupid things when they're wasted. You know, things they don't mean. Yeah, but that's the thing. You do mean it? What if I did mean it? Oh. All this time, I've, I've been trying so hard to pretend like everything's fine, but it's not. Do I have a mother? Yeah, of course you have a mother. You couldn't really be born without one. Where is she? she... She's not around anymore. Gone? Yeah. What is she? I'm sorry about that, Kim. Was it her mom, the lady? Did she die? Where is school? The school, it's uh, it's about a mile that way, at least. Where are your parents? Look, mommy, look. <laughs> yeah, sure, that is not creepy at all. Bob, it's Joyce. Hey, Joyce, how you doing? Hey, um, um, I'm trying to watch your video thingy, and the tape, it's, it's tiny, it's like it's shrunk. That's <laughs> because it's a VHS-C, not a VHS. You gotta find the RFP1U with coaxial cable so you can connect the video ins and outs. Bob, English. <laughs> right. Bob, what? Sorry, um... I, this one just goes into the camera itself? Yeah. 
It's blue. I think it's working. Just thinking maybe tonight we could. <laughs> Joyce? <laughs> Joyce. <gasps> How did the camera pick that up? All right. First, let's just clarify that this is my discovery, not yours. Justin, Jesus, just show me. All right. <laughs> Justin. Okay, fine. Stop! I'm really sorry, Mr. Clark. It was just a stupid prank. What the hell are you I doing? Stop. We need to go home. Mike. Right now. Right now! <laughs> Screw it. A little shit can skate on. And don't call her that. What? Sister. She's not my sister. She's not your sister. Oh, okay. Guys, what's going on? Come on. It's so unfair that she's not allowed in. Don't hurt him. Only feet Just open it already. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> no! Oh my god. so intense i need to tell you something something about barb about what? that night i i um, i haven't been honest with you but i i can't tell you here on the phone meet me tomorrow forest hills park 9 a.m don't tell anyone and, and don't call me back here it's dangerous nancy what is this i just need you to trust me please why didn't you just swing by her house Hey, yeah, you remember that Russian girl Murray was going on about the other day? Yeah, well, now I'm thinking he's not so crazy after all. Stay where you are. Do not move. Well, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Imagine being this close, yet so far. Is that the where is it that the thing came out last year? South is clear, Lucas. Anything? Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Sinclair. So, sorry, I, I was looking for a study hall. Bye. <laughs> Nothing here, man. <laughs> Why did he kick the door like that? Ah! What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you in here? I'm looking for darts. This is the boys' room. Yes, sir. So you should go home. Oh, come on, dude. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. L? Who's L? Someone. No one. Someone or no one? She was in our party a long time ago. She moved away, okay? Okay. She's a mage? I could be your Zoomer. That's not even a real thing. It could be. <laughs> See? Zoomer. Mind-blowing. Oh, come on, you know you're on the rest. Aww. It's the first time he interacts with her. <laughs> oh my god! You live in? It's just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know, it was just like a magnet or something falling on my board. I know that sounds crazy. No, actually, it doesn't. Guys, I found him. Where? In the bathroom, by Mr. Salomon's. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. He might. 
Okay, but we know from the video that his mind goes to this place, but not his physical body. Stay low. Keep quiet. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Not here. What? He's said by Salernos, right? Yeah. Maybe Will has him. Where is Will? Yeah, he's trying to run for his life right now. So go away. Go away! Go away! Yeah, I don't think it's gonna listen. It's very brave what you're doing. Easy peasy, right? Yeah. Sure. Easy peasy. Just like that. Just like that? I Dio mio, why do they do this? Okay, guys, so that was the end of season two, episode three of Stranger Things. Uh, we meet. What was. Dart. Dart, right? Dartanian, or something like that. Dartanian, Dartanian, or something like that. Um, Dustin Spett. Right, um, Dustin is like the kid who plays Dustin is a really good actor. Like the comedic timing that he has, it's really good. It's really natural, you know, for someone so young. And I really, I really enjoy that. Um, now he has a a, a trusted friend, right? Um. Uh, that he believes he discover, and in a way, I feel like he did. Yes, uh, will w would that thing be dangerous or not? That's a completely different subject. Uh, is it? It's is Mike uh, okay for thinking that if it comes from the upside down, then it's a bad thing? Yes, I mean after everything that has happened to them, it's better to be. Uh, cautious right than to be sorry later and he believes i mean will has told him a lot more things than the other two know and so he believes in him and he believes that you know terrible things are happening and the, the way that that will describe these things uh are scary so of course he's gonna get scared as well and not trust anything that comes from the other side and i I believe the exact same thing, you know? Uh, now, that doesn't mean necessarily that that thing is a bad thing or not. I don't know. But I will also kill it <laughs> just in case, you know what I mean? I wouldn't get attached to a creature from another dim dimension, you know? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I also understand Mike's hesitation towards uh, Max, right, being part of their group. Uh, yeah, I, I will, I would um, be hesitant about it uh, as, as well because of everything that happened with Eleven. Um, Mm, you know, but she seems like a like a normal kid. She's not flying uh, things around or rescuing them or moving things with her mind. You know, so but it's understandable that at you know after what happened, that he will be like, you know what? No, no more people in. You know, so it's understandable as well. They all went through a lot of shit. So, yeah. Um, And and Mike did lost eleven. He was a lot closer to eleven than the other two. So again, understandable, right? Um, I did like the conversation between Bob and and Will because it's very important that someone like like a person other than his mom and his brother talk to him. Like a normal person, right? Someone that experienced, like Bob has not experienced what he did, but he has had experience, you know, bullies, and he also had experience, uh, you know, being terrified ab about this clown, 
right? So traumatic things. I mean, we're not going to put on the way, you know, and way which one was scarier, but the impact that had on each kid, it's kind of the same, right? With the only d difference is, is that Willis is still living this, you know, and hasn't fully escaped his nightmare, right? So, but I think that when he talks to him and he's like giving him an advice on, on maybe how to handle the fear that he has for what happened on the previous year with what he knows happened on the previous year, I think it's very sweet that he's like, you know what? It was also, you know, very scary for me. I have like, don't be shy that you have to call your mom sometimes because I did, you know, and slowly the nightmares went away until one day I was able to stand my ground and you know uh, scream go away and I and it did you know and I think that's very very sweet you know and in a way you know of like telling him to confront his fears you know uh, that they're not always going to be there and that, you know, you're stronger when you get to the other side. Now, yes, of course, you know, this will, it was not going to work in this situation because we're dealing with, with some other things. But I, I still think that Bob really does think about Will and is empathetic towards him and he saw something and he sees something in Will that it reminds him of himself and he gives him a word of encouragement. And I think is that was, that was really sweet. And it speaks volumes on the type of person that Bob is, you know? So it's, I honestly, I do like Bob, you know, as corny and as cheesy as he could, he might be, uh, and nerdy as well, but it's, I like him. I like him a lot and he cares about Joyce and he cares about the kids, you know, Will and, and Jonathan. So I think that, I think it's it's very sweet. Um, now, Will, you know, was like, I've heard that noise before. At first, it's very difficult for him to talk. Then he told he told Mike about it, and then, of course, he him he gets uh, once again locked. His mind goes to the other side, right? And now that cloud thing is consuming him or getting inside of him. I don't know what the hell is happening to the poor kid. I feel so bad for him because he was really, you know, trying to confront his, his fears, you know. Um, but I hope that nothing bad happens. I feel very bad for him. I don't know why that thing keeps attacking him. Uh Maybe it feels like he used to be a part of it, so it's calling him out. I I don't know. And maybe because he's like Dart's mom. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Because it, I don't think it's... it's. I don't think Dart is that thing. Is Dart the thing that he threw, uh, threw up? I don't know. I'm a little bit confused about that. I don't know. Uh, also... Then we have, um, well, Nancy is being Nancy, you know, and like, I think that if she was really, truly smart, she wouldn't have called, you know, uh, Barb's mom. She will have just gone to her house, you know, and said, we need to talk. We're going to talk tomorrow at this time. Don't ask questions. Just go. Right. But, like, doing it all over the phone. I don't know what her plan is. I Hopefully she has a plan. I don't know. But I feel terrible for Steve, you know. Because Steve does seem to care about her. And to be in love with her. But I don't think Nancy loves him. You know. Which is sad. Um, and, like, Jonathan and Nancy are a very boring ship. If you think about it. I don't know. Anyways. Then you have Eleven, right? that decided, you know what? He lies to me all the time. I'm tired of being on quarantine. I'm going to get out. And so she did. Girlie did. And she went out into the world. And I don't think it's a good thing. Right? Because the Batman are still looking for her. 
and now there's a report of someone saying something about the Russian girl, right? So it's going to raise some flags and it's going to make the, you know, uh, the town not being as safe as Hopper would like to, you know? Uh, but of course, everybody in the lab, the doctor, everyone are is are, are lying to them. He's like, ah, don't worry about it. Like the entire like a three mile radius around the the fact the 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 lab is you know uh, all the plants and every every crop is just rotting, and they're like, it's probably not us, you know. And we're like, do you think we are stupid? We you you think that we are this stupid? You know, um, but apparently the rest of the town, well, the rest of the town doesn't know what happens there, right? So, but I will be like, hey, we're close to this lab and all the crops are dying. But like, no one is thinking of that. <laughs> uh, but Hopper is, and he's going to try to figure out while trying to find Eleven, who may or may not return to the place where she was been hidden. Which I don't think she should have. You know, I think that if he truly wanted uh, a new opportunity for her, she would have been out of this town by now. You know, just out. Out of the country. Maybe you can go out of the country, but that doesn't mean that out of the town. Like, I don't know. What place is closer? I don't know. New York. There's a bunch of people there. How the hell are they going to find you? I don't know. Some place, like, big, crowded, where, you know, where you're hiding in plain sight. I think that will be, like, the ideal place. Not a cabin in the woods. Where she's isolated and can't talk to anyone. You know? And she misses her friends even more. And it's a lot more easy to, for her to try to get out and try to find them. Because she's still a girl, you know? And I hate that everything everything that has gone, she has gone through and she continues to go through uh, right now. So, yeah. It's sad. Anywho, that's it. I'm going to stop ranting because I want to watch episode 4. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. We're doing our binge. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to do a binge. Binge meaning like I might watch a couple more episodes. Um, so stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. And thank you for all your support. And thank you for everything. That's it. Thank you. And that's it. I'll see you guys. Thumbs up. I don't know if this is ever will ever be posted on YouTube. But thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment. Hit the notification bell. On kind of reaction on Patreon. This is a rewatch, as you guys might remember. And yeah, for now, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That's it. <laughs> Bye, guys.